Hello everyone, today we are going to share a story of Mr. Sankalp from Pune who has taken our online services and let's see what he says about the entire process. First of all, Sankalp, thank you so much for taking your services and this is your TRP card for Lithuania. Thank you very much, sir. So, Lithuania, as you all know, in September 2023 has changed their way of visas and TRP process. Now, Lithuanian government is giving temporary resident permit card to the student in India, not the visa, but card itself. They are now following Finland and Sweden, both who are also giving the card of a quite long time now. Uh, basically, Sankalp come from Pune. Yes, sir. Sankalp, you have, uh, when did you approach us? I started my contact with Indo-European in April month. Okay. And to be exact, it was around April 11th. Okay. So this was the time I started because I was like, it shouldn't be a delay in my process. Okay. Most of the time it may happen like a student may not be able to achieve his dream just because due to a small delay. Very I good. didn't want that. Sure. So I approached early and began my process early since April. And what's your qualification? My qualification is diploma of three years polytechnic we say it and it's in computer engineering. So diploma in computer engineering. Which university and program you have chosen in Lithuania? In Lithuania, specifically in Vilnius, I have chosen Vilnius Tech University, also known as Vilnius Jediminas Technical University. My program of study is of four years, which is Bachelor's in Computer Engineering. Great. Normally, students who finish their education in the present year, I'm talking about the current pass out year student because you are also 2023 pass out year. Yes, sir, right. A right? uh, lot of time I've seen they do not have that much you know knowledge about the process because they always think that if i go now i can't make it for september yes. so what make you think that uh, okay i can do it for the september itself so the thing was like firstly i thought like there should be a mediator between the university and me so i approached indo-european but before all of this could happen i searched myself that which country would be best for me and how should i process because i read about many reviews then I came across Indo-European, like they are the ones who process everything in a smooth manner. Then I approached Indo-European and the rate of success in Indo-European was very high. So I approached them. Now talking about the process of getting into the September uh, month itself into the university, the thing was having all the documents appropriately. So after I had, I approached the Indo-European. Great. Thank you so much for all the wise words. But you have just heard Sankalp saying, I did my research before coming to Indo-European and this is the most important part of the video. When you come to us or when you visit us online or offline and you know, to your choice, please make sure that before coming or after meeting us, do your own research also that which country and university you are going and is it that suitable for you. In case you're not satisfied, you are most welcome to also you know, change your university because every student has a different perspective. Different perspective right? Yes. So basically, um, when we talk about the quality education, we all know Wellness Tech is a world-ranked university. Yes, it it's is. A, it's, a, it's one of the prestigious universities in the entire world. But uh, coming to the living expenses, what do you think? Now you got DC. You came with us, we did the counseling, we did the process, you were saying good words about us. But let's say in your research, what do you think, what is going to be your living expenses in Lithuania? So as per my research that I did before approaching Indo-European, my prediction was around 1000 euros per month, which will include my living cost. It will include the university fees, breaking it down into monthly and also my food and restaurant and other enjoyment as well. So that was my overall budget. And so I chose Lithuania. But uh, if we talk about thousand euros, I think we have to club the, we have to, uh, you know, separate the living and food towards the tuition fee. So tuition fee, you are paying only 3,500 euros, right? Yes, right. So uh, if I talk about uh, living expenses and food monthly, yeah. how much you think in Indian currency you'll be paying? So what is your, let's say example, what is your hostel charges in Lithuania? Hostel charges is around 120 to 180 euros, which can we can just uh, say, say it, it's around 17,000 rupees. Uh, if you go on a higher version, yes. But if you go on a lower version, it go the the sharing uh, version. I think it goes up to 
10 to 12,000 rupees. 12,000 rupees, right. yes, you're so, right. So basically, you are planning to take the hostel of 10 to 12,000 rupees or you planning to take the higher version? I am planning to take the higher version and okay. there are many other factors that I consider for myself. Absolutely, fair enough. So students, these are the factors where as Sanjay said, every individual have their individual requirements and accordingly you can pay, but you can also pay less or more depending what you need. Most important thing, if you are applying for Lithuania and you have your documents ready on time, you can now apply for TRP card, which we just shown you uh, with Sankalp. And that means now Sankalp is ready to go and study and work part time also. He is not required to have any delay, which used to be there for student till last year. Last year. Because last year you used to apply for visa. Yes. You go there. And you then apply TRP, TRP, you have the TRP, it takes 4-5 months and then you are ready to work. So this is the new and the biggest change for students. And also for Lithuania now, you do not have to show any income tax document. You only have to show that you have approximately 7,000 euros in your account, account, in your personal account, which can be taken from your parents, grandparents, friends, family, anybody can sponsor you, right? Yes, you're right. And so this was the story. Then we can talk about, um, so you are happy as a customer, as a student, great. You were in Pune, you never came to our office. We, yes. we serve students online. Yes. Um, I think, uh, what do you say about your experience because the moment you started your process with us and now you have got your TRP card. Is it really impossible for other people also to do this uh, from their home? To be honest, I myself found it very easy. Now, probably that could be because I'm into computer. But let's talk about the common citizen who is not very well with online things. You know, talking about that as well, the customer service it will itself was very nice, you know. So when I called at the first time, I was taken through a step by step procedure. It wasn't like, OK, it's a student and let's start the procedure immediately. No, the fees, the, the amount that is given to the Indo-European all has been broken down into certain services that they provide. So if we talk about a, a student who is not very good with computer and he wants to apply by himself, he will also not need any help from his parents because a student like me, myself, completed his entire procedure by himself. So other students as well can do that because the thing is, in today's world, online is everything. And Indo-European has their website which has all the information. So if you just read about that and then go and call for the customer care, start your process, it will be very easy. Absolutely. We have students from Pune, Bangalore, Kerala, even from Gulf countries, Nigeria, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Nepal who are applying online and we have been giving the services to them because most important thing here is that if you are ready to take the services we will deliver every service at your doorstep and that is the most important thing and I think Sankar is a live example for such services yes. so Sankar thank you so much for joining us for the session and I wish you all the best thank you and sir and looking forward to see you in Lithuania very soon yes sir thank you yes press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update